everyone. This is Bonnie from Backward Story and I have a fantastic picture book to share with you today. It is We Don't Need Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. He has also written the hilarious Mother Bruce series which is about a bear as well as the book Be Quiet and he is a fan favorite with little kids and he is a story time staple so you will always see librarians and teachers doing his books at story time because they're hilarious and the kids love them. His new book is just as fantastic as all of his others and it is great for kids going to school for the first time or kids who have trouble at school making friends and there's even a little bit in it that makes it great for kids who maybe bite or do things to their classmates that they get in trouble for that maybe they shouldn't do. And it talks about all of those things, but in a really fun way. So this is a book that's perfect for this time of year when kids have back to school nerves or they're going to school for the first time and they're nervous and what if they don't make any friends and what if they don't like it? And this is just such a fun book. So I wanted to give you a little peek into it. So this starts off with your end paper and you have some of the pictures that the class draws and this actually continues on the back with even more pictures and it starts off with a little warning so that kids won't get scared it says hey kids you will never be eaten by a t-rex they are extinct I promise. So that way if kids are scared that they'll go to school for the first time and they will have a classmate who is a T-Rex that wants to eat them, they don't have to be afraid because this won't happen to them. So it's really nice that they put that little disclaimer at the very beginning. And the book stars Penelope Rex. So she's a little T-Rex. She's about to start school for the very first time. She's a nervous, of course. She doesn't know if her classmates will be nice, how many teeth they'll have. We've got her stuffed animals there, which are other dinosaurs, as well as pictures in the background. So it's very much the kind of room that any other kid would have. And you have her backpack here, and it's got ponies all over it. This is her brand new backpack, and ponies are her favorite because ponies are delicious. So right away, it's really funny. And then on the next page, her dad packs her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple. And her lunchbox has a pony on it. I love that little touch. So you have Penelope going to school for the first time. And here are all of the kids and her classmates are children. The children taste delicious. So she eats them. And the teacher gets really mad and says, we don't need our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So Penelope spits them out. Yeah, yuck. And now the kids don't like Penelope. It's not the best way to start school. So you have her trying to make friends. She does finger painting, but the other kids don't like what she did because even though she thinks it's her best work, she's eating a child and they don't want to be eaten. And here she is eating her 300 tuna sandwiches and she's telling everyone they can sit with her, but they're afraid that they're about to be lunch too. So she's very lonely. Everyone's making friends except for her. So she goes home and she talks to her parents about how none of the other kids want to play with her. And they're like, did you eat your classmates? And she goes, maybe just a little bit. And so then her dad tells her that it's hard to make friends sometimes, especially if you eat them. Because children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. And so Penelope had a lot to think about. And the ponies come back. You've got ponies all over her. Comforter, love it. And so at school the next day, she tries so hard not to eat her classmates, but she can't help herself. Does it again, and everyone's afraid of her. The only one who's not afraid of her is Walter the goldfish. So Penelope goes over to Walter, and she tries to make friends with him, because maybe he'll be her friend. She sticks her finger in the jar, and he goes, chomp, and he eats her finger. And she's so upset. He's eating her finger. She is not happy at all. And so then she thinks, once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. And there she is with a bandaged finger, and she's looking at the goldfish out the corner of her eye. So now she knows what it's like to be the one being eaten. So she stops eating her classmates. And now she's making friends. And now... 
Even when the children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter stares right back at her and licks his lips. And then if you take the jacket off of the book, you have this little surprise. It's an apple juice container. And if you follow the straw around into the back, look who it is, it's Walter the goldfish. So I wanted to share that to at the very end so that it was a surprise for you because you don't know who Walter is until the very end. And this is just a really fun, playful book from Disney Hyperion. Ryan T. Higgins did a great job introducing fears that kids have when they go to school, fears of not having any friends, of being different, and he finds a fun way to show that there are other ways to change your thinking and to still make friends. And it also, again, you could use this as a book for biting. If kids are having trouble at school because they're biting or hitting one another, this shows what it might be like to find yourself on the other side. So you have a little bit of anti-bullying going on there. And there are just so many great aspects of this book. And I think that it's going to be another story time staple. And any kid going to school for the first time or any kid afraid of going to school or afraid of making friends should definitely be introduced to this book. So it's definitely one to pick up when you are on your outings in the next couple of weeks picking up supplies for back to school. It's definitely one that will help you have conversations with your kids and it's going to be a lot of fun for all of you. So that is everything from me today. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!